This is problem number 40 from chapter 5 in the Walker physics book. It also is a friction problem. So we're told that we want to slide a 0.39 kilogram book across a table. We're given the coefficient of static friction and we're asked what force is required to move the book with an acceleration of 0.18 meters per second squared. So in this case we know that we do have an acceleration. It's not an acceleration at, of zero, so it is either speeding up or slowing down. And we are going to, as we usually do, start out with a free body diagram. So here's the object, here's the book, and here it is sitting on a table. And we start in straight away asking ourselves our usual questions. Is there gravity? Well, there is. And so I'll draw the down arrow and label it FG. And the next question, is it sitting on a surface? Well, yes, it is. We just said that it was sitting on a table. So I'll draw an up arrow pointing in the opposite direction and of equal length as the force due to gravity because we know that this book is not accelerating in this direction, it's accelerating in this direction across the table. So before I go any further, what I think I'm going to do is label my directions. And I'm going to say up is positive y, and to the right I'll have this thing accelerate to the positive x direction, which I'll just go ahead and decide is to the right. So if the book is going to be accelerating, we need to label um, the direction of acceleration as being acceleration positive in this direction. And that's just our reminder. Okay, so the next thing, let's go ahead and say that there's an applied force. Is someone pushing or pulling on it? Well, yes, they are. So let's give applied force, actually, let me use green for applied force this time. So it's going to be going in this direction and this is the applied force. And so then that what that means is the frictional force of course of course points in the opposite direction, but the frictional force arrow FF needs to be shorter than the applied force arrow and that's because they do not cancel each other out. In other words, there's a net force to the right. That's what's causing the acceleration to the right. So let's go ahead now that we've got our labels and we can fill in some of the information given to us by the problem. First of all, um, we know that FG is equal to, this is equal to 0 0.39 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared. And that's going to give us 3.822 newtons for FG and from our free body diagram since this arrow is equal in magnitude to this arrow we know that the value for the normal force is also 3.822 newtons. So I'll just set that there. Now the reason that we care about the normal force is because the frictional force is dependent on the normal force and the coefficient of friction times the normal force will give us the frictional force. Now, in this little piece right here, I've got kinetic friction, but we need static friction in this problem, so I just replaced the subscript k, mu sub k, with s for mu sub s, and now it stands for the coefficient of static friction. So let's go ahead and work this out using that equation. We know that the coefficient of static friction is 0.21, so what we can do is multiply this out and let me go ahead and write that. We set this up here. That frictional force is equal to mu sub s times normal force, which is going to be equal to 0 0.21, no units because it's a ratio, the units cancel, times 3.822 newtons. And that gives us a pretty tiny value for the frictional force being equal to 0 0.80262. I'll carry all those digits until the end of the problem. Okay, so now we've got frictional force. We've got normal and 
gravitational force, what we need to figure out is what applied force will give us the acceleration that we want. And so since F net is equal to M A, and we know that the net force and the acceleration are in the positive X or in the right hand direction, we can use the arrows to tell us how to set up this equation. So let's go ahead and write out that F net equals MA which is equal to the applied force minus, because these arrows are pointing in the opposite direction, the frictional force. And so what we have here, let me underline in a slightly different color, what we have here is Newton's second law written in a way that we can now solve. The acceleration is going to be in the direction of the net force. We have mass, we have acceleration, we do not have applied force, we do have frictional force. So we have four unknowns and three of them known so we can solve for applied force. So let's rearrange algebraically this equation. Let me move this up out of the way a little bit. Okay, so we want to know applied force. It's asking what force is required to move the book. So let's re rearrange this. Applied force is equal to mass times acceleration and then plus the frictional force. If we solve this for applied force, we have to add frictional force to both sides. Okay, so applied force now is equal to mass times acceleration, and in this case it's not acceleration due to gravity, it's the acceleration given in the problem, which is 0 0.18 meters per second. It's this acceleration up here. Okay, so 0 0.39 kilograms times 0 0.18 meters per second and squared, and you know that that's going to come out to be newtons plus frictional force, which is equal to this value right here. I'll just write down 0 0.80262 newtons. Jam that in. Okay, and we go ahead and solve this out. We get um, this is equal to, I'll go ahead and write this, applied force is equal to uh, 0 0.0 702 newtons plus 0 0.802 62 newtons. The applied force, and I'll now round it down to uh, two significant digits, which is what we need to be using. Force applied is equal to 0 0.87 newtons. And all we need to do is write a therefore statement for this, which I'll do in green. So therefore, to move the book with acceleration, I'll abbreviate uh, 0 0.18 meters per second squared, a force of 0 0.87 newtons is required to overcome static friction.